Okay, our problem today is the unexpected hanging. This is a uh, logical paradox that was invented in 1951. Uh, Martin Gardner wrote about it in his Mathematical Games in Scientific American. Uh, it's also been called the Unexpected Tiger. It goes by a few other names. There's a prisoner. He's been found guilty. He's condemned to die. He's going to be executed. And the judge says, okay, Monday through Friday of the next week, on one of those days, you're going to be executed. But here's the catch. You are not going to expect it. When that day arrives and we tell you you're going to be executed, you're not going to be expecting it to be that day. So, here's what the prisoner thinks. We've got five days next week coming up. We've got a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And the judge says, well, the day you get executed, you will not expect it. So he's getting to thinking. He says, well, okay, it can't be Friday because if I'm alive Friday morning, that means I didn't get executed in the four days. That means there's only one day left that I can possibly be executed on, and I'm going to be expecting it then. So if I'm alive Friday morning, I'm going to be expected to be executed Friday. So it can't be Friday because the judge says it's going to be unexpected. So he can't execute me on Friday. So then he says, okay, well, since it can't be Friday, if I'm alive on Thursday morning, I'm also not going to expect to be executed on that day because it can't be Friday for reasons I just said it's the last day of the week and since it can't be Friday Thursday if I'm alive I know that I can't be executed then either because I'll be expecting it so I can't be executed on Thursday so same logic applies he says I can't be executed on Wednesday either because if Wednesday comes around I know it can't be Thursday or Friday as the days I'm going to be executed so by the same logic I can't be executed on Wednesday because I'll be expecting it and so, same thing. Can't be executed on Tuesday for exactly the same reason. Can't be executed on Monday. So the prisoner thinks, okay, well, out of all those five days in the next week, then, there's not a single day that I won't be expecting it, so I can't be executed on any of those days. So he thinks, okay, I'm not going to be executed. And so what really happens then, he says, okay, Monday comes and goes, Tuesday comes and goes, Wednesday comes, oh, the executor shows up, says, okay, today's your day, we're going to execute you today. And he goes, but I wasn't expecting it. Exactly, he wasn't expecting it. And so, he got executed, he wasn't expecting it, and what the judge said was true. He got executed on a day that he wasn't expecting it. So somewhere, his logic had a fatal flaw in it. So there's been some discussions on this, uh, logicians have talked about this, and there's some question about what do you mean by expecting, or not expecting, and so forth and so on. Okay. Here's my take on it. I've been thinking about this for a couple of years, and I think I finally found a way to illustrate it. So, same thing. We've got the prisoner. He's been scheduled to be executed one of these days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday of the next week. Okay, but let's start at the beginning. Let's say that on Monday, we ask the question, what are his expectations of being executed come Monday morning? on any particular day, especially Monday. You say, well, there's five days left. He could be executed on any of those days. There's a one in five chance that he will be executed on any of those particular days. All right. One in five adds up to five over five, which is one. In other words, he's got a 20% expectation that he will be executed on any of these days. All that adds up to 100%. Specifically, on Monday, he has a 20% expectation that he will be executed on Monday morning. All right, let's say that that doesn't happen. He doesn't get executed on Monday. So, Tuesday rolls around. All right, so there's four days left. What are his expectations, then, of being executed now? Well, there's four days left, so one in four. He has a one in four chance of being executed on Tuesday, one in four on Wednesday, 1 in 4 on Thursday and 1 in 4 on Friday. This is his expectation. He has a 25% expectation of being executed on Tuesday. 25% on Wednesday, 25% on Thursday, 25% on Friday. Okay, let's say he does not get executed on Tuesday. Well, that leaves three days left. So, use the same logic, same argument. There's now three days left. What are his reasonable expectations of being executed on any of these three days? Well, 1 in 3. So, roughly 33%. He has a 33% expectation that he will be executed 
on any of these three days. Remember, it's 20% on Monday, 25% on Tuesday, 33% on Wednesday. Okay, same thing. Let's say Wednesday comes and goes. He's not executed. That leaves two days left in the week, Thursday and Friday, that he could be executed. So what are his expectations of being executed on any of those days? Well, there's two days left, so logically, one out of two. 50% expectation that he will be executed on Thursday or Friday. Okay, and let's take it to the logical conclusion. And let's say that he is indeed not executed on Thursday. He leaves Friday. What are his chances, his expectations of being executed on Friday? Well, there's only one day left. So 100%. His expectations are of being executed on Friday of 100%, which makes perfect sense. There's only one day left. It's the only possible day that he could be executed. All right. So if you look at this, though, you'll see that Monday he had only a 20% expectation of being executed. Tuesday it went up because there were only four days left. He had a 25% expectation of being executed come Tuesday morning. Okay, that didn't happen, so Wednesday morning, if he survived that long, it rises to 33%. He has a 33% expectation that he'll be executed on Wednesday. Same thing, by the time Thursday rolls around, he's got a 50% expectation that he will be executed. And if for some reason it didn't work out that way, and he's left with Friday, he has a 100% expectation that he'll be executed. Okay, you say, well, okay, well, well, that's great and everything, but what's that got to do with the original logic? His logic was that he can't be executed on a Friday because if that's the only day left out of the entire week, he survived all the way up to Friday without being executed, he's got a 100% expectation on that day of being executed. Okay, fine, 100%. But then he then makes the jump in logic that says, okay, well, if it can't be Friday and I've survived till Thursday, I also cannot be executed on Thursday because I will be expecting Thursday to be the day because it can't be Friday. Well, that leap in logic has always never set well with me, and now I know why. No, he can't say that, because come Thursday, there's two days left, Thursday and Friday, remaining. He has only a 50% expectation of being executed on Thursday at that point, not 100%, which is what everybody's assumed up to this point, is either you expect it, 100%, or you don't expect it, 0%. And so all these expectations here were either 100% or 0%, 100%, 0%. And the trouble with that is that's not the way it works. As you see here, on Monday, he's only got a 20% expectation. No matter what could possibly happen the rest of the week, on Monday morning, he's got a 20% expectation that today is the day he's going to be executed. Likewise, Tuesday comes around, assuming he survived, it's now up to 25%. 33% on Wednesday, 50% on Thursday, 100% on Friday. So the, if we look at just these last two days, which is, seems to be the crux of the whole uh, logic that the, the prisoner is using, if he survives till Thursday, he does not have a 100% expectation or 0% expectation. He has something in between. He has a 50% expectation, realistically, of expecting that he will be executed that day. Up until the point the executioner walks through the door and says, yes, today's your day, he doesn't know. It's not zero or hundred percent. It's for fifty percent chance. And so I think that's how I look at it to solve this. It's no longer a paradox now. If you look at it as percentages of expectations, not he will expect it hundred percent, he will not expect it hundred percent. It's somewhere in between. It's a percentage. And so I don't think there is a paradox. I think it's simply explained. Now Look at what actually happens then. Okay, so Monday goes along, let's say he's not executed. Tuesday comes and goes, he's executed. Wednesday comes up, executioner shows up, he's only got a 33% expectation of being executed. And sure enough, when the executioner says, okay, today's your day, he was surprised. He was only expecting it with a 33% chance of that day happening. Okay? Same thing, choose any day. Let's say that he does survive till Thursday. He's got a 50-50 expectation of being executed on Thursday or Friday, either day. Executioner shows up, he gets executed. He was only expecting Thursday to be the day that he dies with a 50% chance. And that's why there's no paradox. It's only on the last day, which won't happen, 
because by that time it can only happen, and that's the only day, and the judge knows this, this is the only day that he has a 100% expectation of being executed. All the rest are less than that. So any time that this would happen on any of those days would indeed be unexpected to him, because he's not expecting 100%. He's got some bit of doubt, 80%, 75%, 67%. 50%. That's the doubt that he has on each of those days. Anyway, that's my take on it. I believe that uh, is a reasonable explanation of why this is indeed not an actual paradox, even though it has all the look and feel and flavor of a paradox.